March 6, 1962. Officer Robert Tobias, Manchester Township Police Department, end of watch, May 17, 1975. Officer Richard J. Harper, Brick Township Police Department, end of watch, May 4, 1978. Firefighter Henry Ronco, Towns River Fire Company number one, last call, August 31, 1981. Firefighter Eugene Fury, Bayville Fire Company number one, last call, November 20th, 1988. Excuse me, we can't hear you. Can you speak up? Let me do it again. Officer John James Lesnick, Brick Township Police Department, end of watch, August 30th, 1999. Officer Robert J. Ventura, Jackson Township Police Department, end of watch, March 18th, 2001. Firefighter John W. Broom Smith. Nice and loud, Rick. Seaside, uh, Firefighter John W. Broom Smith, Seaside Heights Fire Department, last call February 4th, 2007. Officer Bill Pressler, Lakewood Township Police Department, end of watch May 14th, 2007. April 10, 2015. Officer Allison Ray, Berkeley Township Police Department, end of watch, November 3rd, 2017. I'd like to just take a moment to think about and recognize these folks. years ago in Detroit, a police officer was killed in the line of duty. 100 businessmen got together to give the family approximately $20,000. At that time, uh, it bought the new, the, that widow, uh, the newly married widow, uh, who was having a baby, it bought their car. It also paid off the mortgage of the house. And that was the start of the 200 Club. And that's how it came up as the number 200. Thoughtful business people coming together in support of police, fire, and first aid, emergency service personnel who are killed. And here in Ocean County, we also recognize those who are seriously injured in the line of duty. That's who we are. There are 19 clubs in the state of New Jersey. Uh, over the years, Ocean County, as you've heard, has recognized many, many of them uh, who paid the ultimate? Uh, who, who paid the ultimate sacrifice? As board members and the members of this organization, we don't know these people. We we hear about them. We hear the many stories of their pride and their dedication to duty. Uh, we meet their children. We offer our condolences to their spouses. We go to the funerals, hear the last call, the 21 gun salute, and watch the neatly folded flag. Drape, the drape, the hero's coffin, as it's presented to the spouse and or the family. Then what happens when you go to these funerals? Well, people go back, they go back to the work, as they should. Uh, but what happens is that an organization like the 200 Club is that we do remember. 
We remember with the bell that you heard rung tonight. We also remember it the holidays when we stop by the houses of these people. And we watch these children grow up. I remember the first time our Vice President Sean McHugh said to me, you know, I've seen uh, Nietzsche Pressler's kids and now we see them and, and these beautiful young girls, well they're probably about this tall, and they're, they're in high school and they're doing amazing things. They're swimming and they're doing all kinds of stuff. And we get into and we, we learn about their families because that's what the 200 Club does. We remember these brave men and women with, also with our Valor and Meritorious Service Awards because quite frankly, I would much rather shake the hands of you folks that are receiving awards today than put my hand on the shoulder of your spouse. So at this time, we're going to move a little bit further. We're going to start our dinner process and then we'll bring Bill Spadia up from New Jersey 101.5 and Chasing News uh, to talk to us a little bit more. So at this time, from a dinner perspective, I would like tables one through three on this side and tables 23 through 20 on that side uh, to start heading towards the uh, heading towards the food line. I'll be back to you in about five minutes and we'll call a few more tables.